Hey guys, I am Angela and Jean, and welcome to my channel where we talk all things manifestation, meditation, and healing. And today we are talking about victim mode, how to know if you are in it and how to get out of it, because it is definitely the one thing in life that will keep you very stuck from moving on in your life. So a few symptoms of victim mode is if you think the world is against you, um, if you have a hard time dealing with problems when they approach, if you feel powerless, uh, if you blame others for the way your life is, that's victim mode. Victim mode will keep you very stuck, you guys. So I can say I'm on the other side of a very painful relationship where I was sure that I was the victim because of everything that happened to me and I felt like I did the right thing. I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to that, but the problem with staying and dwelling in that space is that it doesn't allow you to move forward because you never find answers because you think all this stuff happened to you. So the biggest thing about getting out of victim mode is actually taking responsibility for our own suffering. Our suffering is oftentimes it started long ago and we have never dealt with it because we've remained in victim mode so we just continue layering it, layering it, layering it and the person that we are currently in a relationship, friendship with, business relationship with, whatever the dynamic is, is triggering it. So they are the bad guy, it is their fault. When the fact of the matter is they're just triggering it. It's lots of people's faults if you need to blame it on someone but again the blame keeps you in victim mode so what you need to do is take responsibility for the space you hold and for the energy that you are allowing into your life in the dynamics that you currently have and that you have experienced once you take responsibility for the space you hold in the relationship and the energy that you allow then you can start asking the how and the why and those questions usually are why would i allow this in my life what part of me thinks this is okay? What part of me thinks this is comfortable and relates to this dynamic? You know, you start asking the deeper rooted questions and once you start finding the whys, you realize how far back these issues, pain, things that you haven't dealt with go. So that is why you have to take responsibility for the space you hold to get out of victim mentality. It takes two people to be in a relationship. So you are allowing the energy. And once you allow it, you guys, you are no longer the victim. If the person showed you who they were and you continued the course, you are no longer a victim, okay? It is a choice. And so until you take responsibility, you're gonna stay stuck in life. And not until that moment can your healing journey begin. So that is how you get out of victim mode. It's actually very, very simple. Just look in the mirror. You just look back at the relationship, maybe the most current one. When did I see the red flags? They were definitely there. From that moment on, when did I allow it? Why did I allow it? What part of me relates to this? What part of me feels that this dynamic is comfortable to where it's okay? You really have to start asking the deep, deep questions and find the roots of the cause, you guys, because otherwise you're always gonna stay in the victim mentality. But to wrap up this video, the core message is to take responsibility for the space you hold and take responsibility for the part you play in your own suffering to release yourself forever from victim mode. All right, guys, that's a quick video on how to get out of victim mode. And I have to tell you, like I said, being on the other side of my experience, you really do step back into your power, into your joy, and your peacefulness, into your loving space, which is the space your spirit holds, okay? <laughs> and I have to say, when you take responsibility, what that does is it gives you all your power back because then you are in charge of healing yourself, fixing yourself. You're not waiting for an external person, an external source to come save you, okay? You are saving yourself and there is so much power in that, you guys. So really take responsibility, write notes. Like I said, I'm gonna shoot another video video on how to get into the grit of it because I've done it myself and I'll share and I will be a bit transparent with my own process if it'll help you guys. All right. So I'll see you guys in a few days for a new video. Thank you so much for watching you guys. If you do not get to see my last video, go ahead and click the end card next to me. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click the circle next to me. If you don't want to miss any of my videos, click the notification bell and I'll see you guys in a few days.